Welcome back to Trainer Tips for the Gravity High Voltage Circuit. Today we're going to talk about formatting options. How many units do you have in your facility or that you have available to you and how do you facilitate that with a nine station circuit like Gravity High Voltage? As you know within the circuit we have nine stations and why nine? Because we cover sagittal, frontal, transverse and we go through legs, trunk and shoulders. Therefore, we have to figure out some type of scenario where if you have three units or nine units, how to make it work. As you saw through our videos, we did it with three units. Perhaps it was three GTS units or two GTS units and a plyo rebounder. With a three unit option, you can do it as we did, or we kind of ran through, excuse me, we ran through it as a, an entire circuit. Another option you have is to do all the sagittal plane exercises. For example, you do sagittal plane legs, sagittal plane trunk, sagittal plane shoulders. During each break, you're gonna switch. They're gonna go in a circle, so you can work with, for three units, you would work with six people. So you take those six people through the sagittal plane series, at which time you would have to transition the equipment for frontal plane legs, frontal plane trunk, frontal plane shoulders. One idea that I used to uh, work with is, uh, or a concept I worked with, is I ran a circuit and I would do something like that where I took people through, I only had four units, so I worked them through the circuit and then I sent them off running around the building as I made the transition. So you can also add a cardiovascular station, a BOSU station, jump rope, something to keep them occupied for the minute or two that it takes for you to transition the equipment. So as soon as we finish sagittal, we say break, there's either a water stretch or cardiovascular station. I go over, I change, I get ready for frontal plane legs, frontal plane shoulders, I'm sorry, frontal plane trunk and frontal plane shoulders. Same concept, you take them through those nine exercises, I'm sorry, there's three exercises, two at each station, so we get six exercises. Through each station, same concept back to the cardio station or even give them a break, depends on what your population is. And I transition the equipment and then I've got a brand new circuit to work with, right through transverse plane. Then I've essentially created nine different environments for 18 different exercises because there's always a ground exercise and there's always a GTS exercise. So ideally, how we beta tested this program is we used seven units with two rebounders. So we had the two rebounder stations in there or we had nine stations. What happens if you have access to more machines? Or what happens if you want to have uh, t 15 stations and you have nine pieces of equipment? Simple. It's all you have to do is you've got some of the variables or the, uh, what I call the buffers in the program. If I have more people show up than I was ready for, I still have to facilitate a great circuit. So what I can do is add like a water station. You can add any of those cardio stations but try to add them after you go through the three planes of motion. So you go through sagittal, frontal, transverse. Because remember the message is we're trying to teach them how the body functions in a gravity induced environment. So you've got sagittal, frontal, or I'm sorry, sagittal, 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 and then perhaps a drink station. Or one thing that I've seen um, at the Gray Institute is they always have two people that are the group encouragers. So they just do stuff that's goofy. They're running around. You can tie the uh, therabands around the ankles and have them move in a specific plane, like a, like a frontal plane shuffle as they go around the room encouraging the other people in the class. So those are a couple options, different ways to format this. Like, you, like I said, we had seven units and two rebounders in our beta test. We wanted this to work if you had fewer units, if you have a small studio or you've got a couple GTSs in your garage. Hopefully this will enhance your ability to bring more people in and increase your earnings per hour. So we'll see you next time on Trainer Tips.